Another major makeover could reshape Detroit in the future, and a study on doing it just got some major funding. You've probably heard of the I-375 project by now, the city hoping to fill it in and create a boulevard connecting the Lafayette Park neighborhood that replaced Black Bottom with Greektown and Downtown. Well, now a transformation on I-75 is in the very early stages of development, which would reconnect Midtown with the rest of the city. I talked with the Detroiters about how they feel and the CEO of the Downtown Detroit Partnership. What the highway system in the 50s and 60s did is it disconnected a lot of communities. In Detroit's case, the construction of I-75 split the city back then. Flash forward to today, and Detroiters are speaking up about wanting a change. I was just telling him how much I didn't want to cross the freeway with him and make it a whole big thing to go downtown with him, but I think if it was a little a little less imposing to cross over the freeway. And that is exactly what Detroit stakeholders are hoping to do. How is by putting a lid over I-75. We're actually looking at a creative application of technology that's been used in other parts of the country where we would actually create a park deck. So it's a capping of the expressway as opposed to either removing it or raising it. The downtown Detroit partnership points to examples like Dallas. And now the city has funding to explore it. We have roughly five and a half million dollars of funding to help us with this study and the study will really focus on one, what's possible, what is the engineering look like, what would it cost to do something like this so we know sort of what we would have to raise and then a lot of community engagement. So what does the community really want? The early indications are the community wants this project to happen especially those traversing the freeway already. I think it'd be cool. I hope they do something interesting with it rather than just like more kind of this kind of dead zone of parking lots in this area specifically. What comes to mind? Anything like parks? Yeah, or like, something like green spaces, maybe more like outdoorsy stuff. It makes a really big divide between downtown and midtown. And if it was more green space and a little quieter and less scary to cross over, I think you'd get a lot more people, you know, enjoying midtown and downtown and traveling between the two. Now, once the study is complete, Downtown Detroit Partnership CEO Eric Larson says DDP hopes they can take it and apply for federal construction grants by 2024 or early 2025, and which would put this project likely happening just behind that 375 trans transformation that we're talking about. Yeah, so we'll see it develop. Glad to hear what people have to say about it. Yeah, it's a, a possibly yeah. exciting opportunity. All right, thanks a lot, yeah. partner.